We're at Mimosa on Bontai Beach, and it's been a while, I think. Well, I went to Treehouse. We went to Treehouse the other night, but I didn't really hang out on the beach that much because it was my friend Jamie's birthday. <sighs> it's immediately when you get out here, it makes you feel relaxed. It's so nice. I love Costa Moy. You love Costa Moy? That Costa Moy? <laughs> wow, they've got decorations up. Getting it ready for Christmas. Look! Wow, they're playing Christmas music too. <laughs> yeah, that's so good, Leon. You know the words. And they're playing Christmas music. Water's crystal clear. Some people say the rainy season's over. You think it is? I mean, if it is over, this is Maybe. the earliest yeah. I've ever seen the rainy season be over. Because normally it goes into Christmas, and you're lucky if Christmas is nice. Like Usually that. Christmas is really windy. You guys look so cute. Leon! I gotta get these kids out of the pool to see the beach because you guys are just lazy. You just want to stay in the pool all day. It's mid-December here in Koh Samui and the rainy season has ended. We have been blessed with glorious weather over the last few days. This monsoon season seemed to be extra vibrant with only short periods of rain each day and so many butterflies. Now all the businesses are preparing for Christmas celebrations, which marks the beginning of the high season. We're just walking down the beach, and it's beautiful. That's Cape Away. That's like the new popular beach bar. It's so popular that we don't go there because it's, just, it's too crowded and there's like no parking. First of all, what happened? Luke, look! It's so different. When we were here before, the sand was not here. Like, the tide must have brought it all in, and now it's a big beach. That is so cool. Be careful. You guys, this sand was not here. This rock is like completely covered. This is a huge rock. All of this is new beach right here. This rock. That rock used to be like up to here. That's so crazy. Luke, remember this rock? Can you believe it? Why is it so different? They got covered in sand. This beach used to be right here. Oh, don't I see? This so big. Yeah. A couple months ago, I mentioned on my channel how I got this email from a guy and he said he wanted to sponsor my family to go to Myanmar, to bring Nam to Myanmar and help the Myanmar people, the Burmese people, and he wanted to help me with new camera equipment. 
I was like, wow, that's so nice. So I sent him an email back. Then I got another email from him, which I didn't tell you about. And the email was so crazy. He said his funds were biblical and that he wanted me to go to Myanmar and give money to the whole village and to all the people in the country. And he said he had enough funds to give a salary to every single person around the planet. And he was developing Tesla technology, which would make it possible for me to take flying cars over to Nam's village within 15 minutes. And he also wanted me to start looking for a million dollar mansion on the beach here in Koh Samui. So after that, I was like, fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice. I sent the message to my mom and she was like, yeah, that's definitely a scam. And he had said, please send me another message on like Signal or something, some other app, right? So I immediately went into protection mode and turned on my VPN for all of my devices, made double check that they were all turned on. And I am so grateful for Surfshark for sponsoring this channel. Surfshark, it's a VPN company. It stands for a virtual private network and it encrypts all of the information sent between your computer and the internet so no one can steal your personal information. Surfshark is easy and streamlined to use and you can use unlimited devices for one account. One of the best features of Surfshark is that you can change your virtual location. So even though I'm in Thailand, I can log into nearly any country in the world and I don't even need a flying car to do it. Please protect yourself and your family and sign up for Surfshark today. I have the link in the description box below and in the pinned comment section. And they're offering a special holiday deal. So if you sign up between now and December 31st, you will get up to six months for free. And there is a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk in trying it out. Just click the link below. Leon, where did the elf go? He's a baby. We're going to take the baby magic. Yeah. No. We're taking the baby's magic out. We can't touch touching the hand. We can't touch the Leon, do you think he was trying to cook a cake or cookies? But he's making a cake for Santa. No, I remember in America, like. Lila, look who came. He brought a friend. What is happening? He's baking us a cake. Right, Leon? What do you think? Make a wish. Last time I remember we got that elf in the box. Leon wants to tell Daddy, but Daddy's still sleeping and he might be grumpy if you wake him up. Okay? Now made that is a healthy breakfast because we have our chicken feet soup to go with it. Mole. Mole. <laughs> That's because I ate a lot yesterday. Huh? This one. Yeah, you tried to put candy in there. Oh, look how good Lila's mommy, walking. Mommy, yeah. Mommy, just see? Yeah. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, hi, pretty girl. Oh, the good Thank you, Leon. Oh, Leon oh. blowing on the soup. <laughs> this is how we like to do it. Chicken feed soup Thank with some you. scrambled eggs. Thank you. Oh, we know what we have that's hold on tight. Found what we Leon and Lila are hiding under the table. Hey, I see you. I just roasted some vegetables and then I put a salad together for myself. I see you.
I enjoy researching about health and different protocols and what is healthy and how to live a healthy life. Yes? Okay, Leon, let mommy talk, all right? What makes me different from a lot of health people who are out there is that I really love food. I love to eat. I am a foodie. I love to cook. And I'm also like an emotional eater, so I have to always make sure that I don't fall back into it. And I do fall back into it. I mean, you guys can see, like, I've been eating a lot of sugar recently around the Thanksgiving time, and I was just cooking a lot, and a lot of that was, like, therapy for me. Yeah. Cooking is therapy for me. I really enjoy it. But I also enjoy, like, making healthy food. And when you eat healthy and you eat whole food and you cut out the processed food, you feel so much better. And once you start feeling better like that, you get addicted to that feeling. And it's so much better to just focus on trying to eat more healthy food than trying to restrict yourself and diet. I would say the problem with this lunch is that it needs more protein. This salad is so good because it has enough fat in it and healthy fat, olive oil, avocado, ricotta cheese, a little bit of emmental oil, like Swiss cheese, and then the meatballs. So it doesn't feel like I'm like depriving myself. Look what Watt brought me. Chicken, which I don't like. I mean, that's not what he brought me. He brought me this. Chicken liver, I need more protein. Mmm. Grilled chicken liver. Mmm. So flavorful. Are you ready? Uh huh. Let's go to Global. I did it. Let's go, Lila, go. This is Global House and it's right by our house and it's just like a Home Depot. It has all of these appliances and sometimes we just come here for a board. Where are we, what? What do you guys think? What do you think about these sofas, what? Is this your style? All right, bye. Hey, Alright, bye. It's funny these. Why would anyone need these? I guess for like, I don't know. It looks like bus stop or something. Yeah, like on the early. Uh, we we're looking for a bunk bed because we've seen them before here, but they're not here now. Look, we can go tile shopping. Hello. Look like same the color in the house. No. The same. No. We have many more than home. Oh. That's what I should have done. Show us what you got. I have this. Who gave that to you? My friend. So this was a, for your birthday, like a late birthday gift. Mm -hmm. That's so nice. A Lego set. I'll help you. I'm making a late, a late lunch. Early dinner. Two fried eggs. These are the vegetables that I roasted earlier. Does this look good? Yeah. It does? Mm hmm You gonna try it? No, I'm just doing this right. I don't even see it. Oh, so Kitty. Mm -hmm. Luke, it's Ricardo's birthday on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Which means I have to bake another cake again. And you're not eating it. I eat it. I'm not eating it. I'm gonna bring it to church. I'm gonna make a big one. Really? Because I gotta make enough to to feed everyone. Yeah. It's four o'clock and this is the time, the, the afternoon time is the time when I really start to struggle. The struggle for sugar. I really want something sweet and I just have got to power through. My diet, I'm trying to, why? Like I didn't say diet, I didn't say diet, I didn't say diet. I didn't eat any sugar yesterday. Okay, that's not true. I had at the end of the evening one little piece of dark chocolate, one little dark chocolate square with some organic peanut butter on it. And that is really, that's really good for me. Some days I don't eat sugar, but then I'll have like cornflakes, a bowl of cornflakes, and that is really bad. It's better to have that dark chocolate than 
processed cornflakes because it's filled with glyphosate and other chemicals that make you addicted to it. And I haven't had Diet Coke in two weeks. Look, I need advice. Advice. About how to overcome a sugar addiction. You drink water every day. That's really smart. How do you know that? Oh. I just went into my room and I was like praying about it. And I was like, God. Just... Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Just sitting on my bed praying to myself about it. And I heard the Lord say, <laughs> just make that lemon water. To help me overcome my sugar cravings, I've been taking whole lemons, just like a couple slices of them with the rind and everything. I put them in the blender with water, a teaspoon of moringa, maybe some collagen, and creatine. And this is really helping me curb the sh sugar cravings. Yeah, and I have to wash it. That's a lot. It's so pretty, right? Remember how I made this other day? I had to make a papaya leaf extract because my friend has dengue fever, and she said it helped her so much. So make sure you do this if you are sick with dengue, if you have a rash, if you have aches and pains, you might have dengue fever. How come you've never had dengue fever? And you've been in Thailand your whole life? No. Vaccine. You got the dengue vaccine? Yeah, they don't have dengue fever vaccines, otherwise they would you're laughing. Walt loves vaccines, right? No. This papaya leaf juice. You want to take a little sip? I'm busy right now, you see. Are you guys having fun? Yeah. We're laughing is because we're making jokes. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you don't need a cake. <laughs> then we I don't need it. it. <laughs> <laughs> you believe that? I want to toss it. Please get make a all a big cake. <laughs> Did you eat the cake now? No. Why well, you touch the baby off? Huh? 
he has special power. Yes. He's magic power. Yeah. Good morning. Let me stand back so it's not too much. My face is not in here, so wow. Good morning. Lila is so happy that she is walking now. She was a late walker, but we think it's just because she liked to be a baby. She liked being a baby. But now she loves walking. Mommy! And then I give me your door. Look, Sonny went did it. Wow, it's so cool. You will not believe it that I had to make another cake today. And I'm on, I've been on day three, no sugar except for one tiny little piece of dark chocolate. I had no sugar. And I did this before I did like a parasite cleanse. And I felt so good and I felt like my eyes, like I could see better. And I just watched something on TikTok about how when you cut sugar out, your eyesight improves, your kidney fun functions improve. So I think if people don't like, do fasting, like fasting is something we should all do. Like every religion recommends fasting. Like it's just so good for you. But if you can't fast, maybe fast from sugar, try to do it for one day if that's it. Even if that, if you know, if you have a really hard time with it, start small and just try and do it. And tomorrow is Ricardo's birthday, so we had to make chocolate cake. And do you think I'm gonna be able to, nom, shin my algin cake? No, nom, that she'll eat it. Nom, sugar's not good for you. Pilin, come down, not come down. Oh, look, we found other Lego sets. And Star Wars thing. That was from America. I can make Lego. I think that one was definitely more complicated. So I had to help you. Yeah. We're going into church and can you believe this? Look at that. I had to bake another cake because it's Ricardo's birthday. And we're, we're gonna celebrate it at church. And you said you're not gonna do it. I am not eating it. Let's see if I can stick to that because I've gone three days basically with no sugar, pretty much with no sugar. 